Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Metalotron 2 by Skull and Circuits. So I've been in contact with Johan from Skull and Circuits for quite some time now. And this is, as he says, his signature module. Um, I love, of course, I love the name. Coming from a heavy metal background, I love everything that's named after metal, of course. But from an external perspective, it's just a shiny, black, beautiful module. And I love the attention to detail he put into this. And one thing I truly like is that this is a very specific module. And this is actually my first analog percussion module that I've ever played with. So he actually calls it a metallic percussion generator. And I found that very interesting. So I'm going to make, again, I'm going to make enough, enough newbie mistakes along the way. So please correct me where I'm, uh, where I'm, where I'm mistaken. Uh, please do that in the comments below or just drop me a line at Jesper at the module clubhouse. And other than that, I would say, well, uh, strap in and um, here we go. The Metalotron 2 by Skull and Circuits up close. So I've decided to call it the Metalotron and not the Metallotron or something else, Metallotron, that's that's my decision. Um, so let's go and have a quick look at what we have here. So you've got your, uh, well, your indicator for whether or not you're actually playing something. You've got your decay attenuator, uh, decay CV attenuator. You've got your cutoff frequency for these three filters. So a low pass, band pass and high pass filter. And then you've got your decay modification attenuverter. So this goes from minus to plus, and it's gonna influence, of course, what's gonna happen with your decay. And you've got your frequency modulation, your resonance for the filter, of course. And you've got your uh, oscillator level and your noise level. So right now I've got oscillator level all the way to the max and noise level all the way down. And I've got the cutoff frequency all the way to the right and the only active filter is the low pass filter. So then you've come to the, well, to the main attraction and those are these four oscillators. And if you turn them all the way to the right, they are actually turned off. And if you then turn one of them on, you'll see something very neat. There you go. So this is the uh, the first oscillator and you can play with the frequency of course. That's quite a nice reach to it if you ask me. And again, if you turn it all the way to the right, you turn it off. And then you can do all of these and the all four of these oscillators. And you get a nice sound to it. And this is of course going to be what we're going to be working with if we then add some noise. Turn the oscillator down a bit, get further, and we can play with that. Perfect, right? And then turn the uh, VCA back on. So what we're then going to do is we're just going to connect some cables, and I'm just going to show you how this thing works. So. There you go. This might be a bit too much for now. Let's keep that in mind. And we're also gonna do some, well, some modulation there, of course, as well. So this one goes into Decay CV. So what's the nice thing about playing with Decay is you can say for a very short Decay time like this one right now, that might sound like a closed hi-hat. But if you then turn it a bit higher, it's an open hi-hat. So how about if we modulate that? So here you see how we can play with, with these kind of things, right? 
Next, let's grab something for the velocity. Velocity being the actual velocity with which a hi-hat or, or a crash or, a, uh, or any other symbol might be hit with. And now you, you hear that variety in, well, in velocity, in, in volume, in intensity. And this is of course great. And the, the cables add some nice light effects here, which is of course a nice detail. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to influence the filter cutoff. So we can play with that a bit. So here you have your full drum voice. And as mentioned, this is this was quite intimidating when I first saw this module, but when I started playing around with it for a bit, it really came to life and I love it to pieces. Let's uh, increase the speed a bit. And you can do so many great things with this. So this has now been a staple within my uh, well, my, my own recordings and my, my, my sample patches. And I'm going to be well doing a lot more uh, percussion-oriented well songs due to this because this has inspired me to go even beyond that. So you might even hear me throw in some drum and bass kind of things in my electro punk going forward. Um, but it's going to be an interesting one. So anything I forgot to mention? Yeah, of course you have this switch to go from a short to a long decay time. And that's just nice because you get get a bit more reach with that. Other than that, yeah, it's um, it's a straightforward uh, module, but it is so rich in sound. Let me just play with this a bit more. go on and play with this thing for hours on end <laughs> but uh, what I'll do is I'll go back to the studio and we'll wrap this up and as promised you'll be seeing a lot more from the Metalotron 2 incoming videos so uh, I would say uh, rock on and um, I'll see you in the studio so I truly hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the Metalotron 2 by Skull and Circuits whom I as always, have to thank for sponsoring this episode and making this unit available to me. Um, this channel, of course, exists by the grace of manufacturers who want to uh, help this channel to, uh, to survive. So anyone who has any great suggestions for me, please feel free to, again, to let me know what I should cover next. Um, other than that, I would always say, let me know what you thought of this episode, drop me a line, leave some comments below, as always, like, subscribe and comment as much as you can. That will help the channel tremendously. Um, again, thanks to Skull and Circuits. Thanks to everyone who is watching this right now. For now, I would like to uh, close off with please stay safe and stay healthy and uh, see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>